Communist China is reportedly rewriting the Bible and calling Jesus a sinner. When you hear that the CCP is rewriting the Bible, are you shocked or not? I was at first, but then not really. It's not the first time someone's tried to rewrite the Bible. But what makes it so bad? There have been countless people in history who have either tried to rewrite the Bible or twist its words for their own benefit. The KKK was known to use Christian imagery and fiery crosses in their rituals and practices, and they committed a lot of atrocities against Jews and black Americans. They often used John 10, 26-27 as proof of their legitimacy. Ye are not of my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Which of course takes the whole thing out of context. They're saying it as if they're better than other people, and they're using the Bible to say that other people are worthy of death, really. But Jesus is saying that those who believe in him follow him, not that they're better than other people. The People's Temple is a cult from the 1950s that you probably know through its founder, Jim Jones. Back then, Jones said that the Bible is a white man's justification for dominating women and colored people. He got many followers too, and supposedly used his connection to God to faith heal people. They came under a lot of scrutiny though, and you probably already know how that ended. Branch Davidians, another 1950s cult. I know, weird time. Anyway, it was an offshoot of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and it was founded by a guy named David Koresh. He had false interpretations of Revelation and convinced a lot of people that he was the final prophet of God. He even named himself after two biblical characters. And his cult also ended in death. In addition to these, there have been many people throughout history who claim to be the second coming of Jesus and certainly use the Bible to try and prove that. So clearly, trying to use the Bible for your own purposes like that is not going to do anyone any good. And China's no different, but really they're even worse. Because they're not just trying to use the Bible for their own purposes, they're trying to rewrite it entirely to fit the communist narrative. We don't have the full text yet, but the CCP did publish a high school textbook with a clip from this red Bible in which it talks about the woman caught in adultery. For context, But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he went back into the temple courts. All the people came to him, and he sat down to teach them. The scribes and Pharisees, however, brought to him a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before him and said, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. What do you say? They said this to test him, in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. When they continued to question him, he straightened up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to cast a stone at her. And again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard this, they began to go away one by one, beginning with the older ones, until only Jesus was left with the woman standing there. Then Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are your accusers? Has no one condemned you? No one, Lord, she answered. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Now go and sin no more. The big concept here is that Jesus is trying to show to these Jews that no one is without sin, and none of them have the right to judge the woman because they're also without sin. But Jesus is the only one, actually, who is without sin because he's both man and God, and he would have the right to stone this woman, but he doesn't. Unless you ask the CCP. Jesus once said to the angry crowd who was trying to stone a woman who had sinned, He who is without sin among you, let him cast a stone at her. When his words came to their ears, they stopped moving forward. When everyone went out, Jesus stoned the woman himself and said, I am also a sinner. Oh, so if you change the biblical stories so that Jesus isn't God, then maybe, in his absence, you can replace it with either your party or yourself. Got it. According to the state-run Xinhua News Agency, the party assembled a group of obedient and pliable scholars late last year and charged them with making accurate and authoritative interpretations of classical doctrines to keep pace with the times. In other words, the CCP plans to turn the scriptures into another piece of regime propaganda by rewriting them beyond all recognition. China is making a big mistake. Rewriting the Bible is never a good idea, and they might realize this for themselves though, because if you rewrite the Bible, you have to read the Bible first, and if they read the Bible, they will eventually get to this. I testify to everyone who hears the word of prophecy in this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book of prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and the holy city, which are described in this book. Guys, don't be stupid like China. Don't try to change the Bible. Scrutinize it all you like, but know that this text has been vetted by thousands of years of scrutiny already. Now, China might be getting the Bible all wrong, but they're not the only politicians to be doing that. It's happening over here in the US as well, and you're going to want to see this video to check that out. 
I'll see you next time.